today's a boat day, but there's one issue. <laughs> I get very, very, very seasick. So, when I was invited on this boat, I was so indecisive about it because like they I- drugs. They gave her They did, they More gave drugs, drugs. than Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> uh, we know. The challenge is gonna be how long can Jordan go with <laughs> throwing up all over their boat? No, that's better. disgusting. Yeah, you're not I'll be fine. Now. You're reassuring yourself to your own. Camera. I'm trying. <laughs> God, camera. Oh, you can do this. this you, I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> just gonna rewatch it over and over and over. There this whole is. boat ride's just gonna be like, one. you can do this. <laughs> hey guys. Hey! Hey! It's boat day! That's boat day! How's that going for you? You know, looking for the sea cows. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get ready. <laughs> So I just got the notification on my phone because I use the bedtime app <laughs> that it's time for bed. So if I go to bed by 1 a.m. I can get a full eight hours of sleep. <laughs> so I decided to go to dinner with Sarai and Emily tonight over by Sarai's house which is like 20 minutes away from me and so we went to dinner and then we just like sat in Sarai's car and just literally talked about life because it hasn't been like the three of us girls like in a really long time. Um, and those like really are two of like my best friends. So we just took advantage of the time that we had together and we talked for like a good two hours, just about like everything. And I had a video to film tonight and like I love them to death, but also like I know that I'm gonna be paying for this. I told myself I would be home before 10 because I just left for their house at seven and it's now 12.45. So that's gonna be fun. So I'm about five minutes from home and I'm just gonna go in and suck it up and do this video. It's gonna be good. Goodbye, Finley. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Could you bring your bed out here in the living room to be a part of everyone? Okay, okay, I'll be back, bye. Good morning, I'm in the car again, shocker. I feel like literally 95% of my vlogs, I'm in the car. But I'm going to the beach today, it is a beautiful day. It's the first day, it's been sunny in about three days actually, it's been like really crappy weather. It's supposed to be beautiful all weekend, so I'm really excited. I'm going to the beach with Zach right now, and then today's actually my mom's birthday, so we're gonna just, we're having a filet dinner tonight. But I'm gonna go soak up this amazing weather. I parked, Zach's already at the beach because he was too impatient to wait for me. So I'm walking by myself. I love Zach's beach. It's not technically his beach, but his neighborhood, the neighborhood that his house is in is like right across the street from like a private part of the beach because it's technically like not a public beach, but all residents pretty much have access to it. Well, anyone has access to it, but parking's a little difficult. There's like never anyone on the beach. It's such beautiful, there's a car behind me. Hey, selfie with the random car. Anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful beach. It's like probably my favorite one to go to here in South Florida. I love my Deerfield Beach too, but like this beach is just so nice because it's so relaxing and there's never anyone there and you have your own time. It's great. So that's where we're going. I have to cross the street now. I took the case off my phone because it was muffling the sound. I like noticed that in some of my vlogs. Um, but now I'm like so nervous. I'm gonna shatter my phone. I need to get a new case that doesn't, I just got my that. I need to get a new case that doesn't shatter my phone. Okay, we're crossing the street now. You guys just witnessed me getting honked at. How do you feel? <laughs> Just so cool today. Hey, dude! I was vlogging and I got honked at twice while being on the vlog. I also slipped on mud and it was a really, really good time. Hey, 
You love the media. I love it. <laughs> it's good picture day. Did you miss me? So much. With all my heart. Morning guys! So today I decided to try something really different. I am going to flywheel here in Boca, which is a spin class. I really need to get more cardio in and recently I just have no motivation to go and run on the treadmill at the gym. For some reason, I don't know, I love the gym and I just haven't really found any motivation to go run. So I'm like, I need to get my cardio in. I need to burn fat somehow. So I'm like, why don't I try something different like spin? So I've heard of this place for like a while and I've wanted to try it, but I've like been like, ah, I don't know. I'm really good with, you know, just going to the gym. But since I'm not right now, I'm gonna try it. And I don't know what to expect. My stamina is like, okay. It's really honestly not very high. So hopefully I don't die. Yeah, this should be interesting. We'll see how this goes. I also usually don't like to work out in the morning and it's 10.30 a.m. I know that's not really like early for some of you, but it's a little early for me, especially since I went to bed at like 4 a.m. last night because I was editing. So yeah, let's go see how this goes. Well, I just finished. That kicked my butt. But I think it's going to be an awesome workout for me because it's like HIT, which is high intense interval training. And so it's not like a constant run or a constant like stair climbing, whatever. It's like intervals. So it's like really, really hard for like 60 seconds and then you like calm down. So I really, really liked it. It kicked my butt though. Like literally within the first 15 minutes, I'm like, how am I gonna make this 45 minute class? What's really cool about Flywheel is that you, it can show like your points on the little screen that you have. So. I hit like a certain number of points and like each time you go back, you can compare how you did that day to your number of points. So you can always try to like strive to do better every time you go, which is really, really awesome. They also have this thing called fly bar, which I want to try too. It's like, it's like, what is it? A lot of reps with less weight. And that's exactly the kind of workout that my body needs. So I'm a fan. I think I'm definitely gonna come back. I need to be doing cardio like three times a week. So I think I'm gonna try to come here and sign up. Maybe I'll do like spin two times a week and then the bar once a week, something like that to start out with. But I'm really excited about this. I'm so glad I got my butt out of bed and went to spin because that made me feel so good. So now I'm picking up my friend Madeline. She lives like right by Flywheel. So I was like, oh my gosh, why don't we go to the beach? So I am picking her up. We're gonna go get acai and then we're gonna go to the beach. What are we about, doing, Lorenzo? Yeah, we're about to watch Baywatch. <laughs> about to watch some rock, take off your shirt, and get crazy. Ready? <laughs> hey guys, so as usual, I forgot to vlog last night. Baywatch was so good. I like genuinely really liked that movie. Fun fact about Baywatch, the intro, that whole intro scene on the beach was actually filmed at the beach that I go to, which is Deerfield Beach. And a little bit further down, like, the rocks like that inlet is called is Boca Inlet and that's literally my beach so that was really cool to see that movie filmed in an area that I like can relate to and they, I it was I was having a really hard time paying attention to the movie because I was so focused on like where they were filming and the background and everything it was really cool I remember I was away at school when they were filming that movie in Deerfield Beach and all my friends were like tweeting and putting on Facebook like Zac Efron's here in town and like blah 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 it was this whole thing but yeah I was like so excited to see the movie just so I could see Deerfield Beach and Boca and where they filmed it and everything and it was really cool so I love that aspect of it but yes it was a little bit of a stupid like plot or whatever but I laughed through the whole thing and I thought it was really really funny I did coconut oil last night and honestly you guys this is the softest my hair has ever felt like I think it's finally like kicking into my hair and it literally feels amazing I'm so excited about this project so I just had a voice lesson in Miami and now I'm headed home I'm about an hour from home and I'm not sure what I'm doing this afternoon actually I'll probably catch up on like some editing and just some housework stuff I don't know 